Goodbye now. After saying my goodbyes, I hopped three trains to get to Auburn that afternoon. Closer going faster than a roller coaster. Love like yours will surely come my way. Hey, hey, hey. Love like yours will surely come my way. You don't know me, but my name is Edward Bloom, and I love you. I I've spent the last three years working to find out who you are, and I've been shot and stabbed and trampled a few times. I broke my ribs twice, but it's all been worth it to see you here now and to finally get to talk to you. Because I'm destined to marry you. I knew it the first moment I saw you at the circus, and I know it now more than ever. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize to me. I'm the luckiest person you're going to find today. No, I'm sorry. I'm engaged to be married. Oh. But you're wrong. I do know you. At least by reputation. Edward Bloom from Ashton. See, I'm actually engaged to a boy from Ashton, Don Price. He is a few years older than you. Well, congratulations. I I'm sorry to have bothered you. It's not funny. That poor boy. Fate has a cruel way of circling around on you. After all this work to leave Ashton, the girl I love was now engaged to one of his biggest jerks. There's a time when a man needs to fight and a time when he needs to accept that his destiny's lost, the ship has sailed, and that only a fool will continue. Truth is, I've always been a fool. Sandra Templeton, I love you and I will marry you! So as you can see, if we apply these rules to our everyday life, but supply and demand makes much more sense. Take a look at the next graph, and I think the import of this will be even stronger. It will even... <laughs> favorite flower. How did you get so many? I called everywhere in five states. I told them it was the only way to get my wife to marry me. You don't even know me. I have the rest of my life to find out. Sandra! It's Don. Promise you won't hurt him. If that's what you want, I, I swear to it. Bloom? Don? What the hell are you doing? This is my girl. Mine! I wasn't aware that she belonged to anyone. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you too scared to fight back? I promised I wouldn't. Stop it! Don, stop! While I took the beating of a lifetime, it was Don Price who was ultimately defeated. All the physical activity had worsened a congenital valve defect. But simply, his heart wasn't strong enough. Uh, 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 
Don, I will never marry you. What? I mean, you love this guy? He's almost a stranger, and I prefer him to you. As it turned out, Sandra was able to keep her same date at the chapel. Only the groom had changed.